You missed it. We living under a rock. Here it was. <laughs> the winner of Big Brother 2002 <laughs> is Peter. <laughs> Please welcome Peter and Marty. You've earned it, my friend. <laughs> no, no. Put 250 in there, Peter. <laughs> First and foremost, congratulations. Thank you. Now, uh, chatted to Ben, the winner from last year when he was evicted. Do you actually get the 250,000? Or oh. after tax and everything, is it whittled down to $2.50? <laughs> I, uh, I haven't really thought about it yet, and I haven't seen any sign of that check. Oh. So I'd, start, I'd start cracking it, buddy. Nah, I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> now, how was it for you, Marty, the, the second banana runner-up? Yeah, how was it? Um, it's always been away. I'm just sort of shut it out that way, oh. I guess. But no, it's, um, it's a good man to win it. And um, look, I just had a, had a ball out there last night walking out to that crowd. They were, um, they were something else and it was um, a great experience. Sure. Now, you, you actually said that uh, the, the walking out at the end in front of the crowd was going to be more of a rush than actually winning the 250000 Yeah. The fact that you didn't, do you still believe that to be true? <laughs> Well, I'm not sure then again, yeah, I didn't see the 250, but um, I got a car and I'm very yeah, stoked right. with that. It's a great little Holden. Love the Holden. <laughs> and, um, yeah, no, it's just um, it's a great car and I hope one day I'll get to drive it. And how, how, was, how, was the last, how was the last 24 hours in the house for you guys? It's quick, very quick. We just sort of paid a bit of golf, ate a bit of mints, <laughs> just the usual. Now, did you have to pack up? Did you have to clean the place up, demolish it? What did you have to do? We tried to clean, but then we thought we'd just leave it for someone else to do. <laughs> Last day in the house and all. So um, we amused ourselves pretty well. We, we burned a few things. We, we lit a fire and um, chilled out in front of that for a while. Well, warmed up in front of that for a while. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was great. And the day went pretty quick. And uh, look where we are now. Yeah, well, very well indeed. Exactly. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Now, Pete, um, did you have any inkling at all uh, going into it that you'd be standing here at the end at the, in the first place? After walking through the doors? Absolutely none. You, how bored did you look when you first walked through? <laughs> it's like everyone else going, wow, the big brother house. And you just looked and just going, mm -hmm. <laughs> It was paradise. It was unbelievable just walking in there and just seeing everything perfect. And then you could hear the crowd and the cameras moving. And that's when it kicked in. That's when it just hit you. So at any point uh, during the, the course of the run, did you get an inkling that you might be a chance to win? After my name was read out to win it, We're that's when I noticed. <laughs> we actually got a fax halfway through on the TAB results, and um, <laughs> so we sort of had a guide of how each other was going, and um, yeah, that gave us a fairly good idea. Now, and also, Pete, how was it for you, those last moments in the house when, when Marty was out and, and they brought your bro brother in, which I thought was a nice moment? Incredible. I just heard um, Big Brother say he's got another surprise, heard those footsteps, and turned around and saw Tom, and it was... What I'd just been thinking about the last, the last two months. It was incredible. Yes. I just wanted to grab him and just hold him. Which is exactly what you did. And of course, if, if, I haven't if, seen this, guys. Uh, <laughs> you haven't seen this yet. So <laughs> <laughs> jumping straight in the pool, Pete. <laughs> now, you know what I love about that? He seems to be more excited than, than anyone I can tell who to actually be in the house. <laughs> I guess from watching it, was, was that the case? Like from watching it to him, it's like, oh wow, I'm in the Big Brother house? No, it was actually the opposite. I'm running around showing him the house and pretty excited. That's my bed, that's Marty's bed. And he just turned around and said, Peter, I've seen it. <laughs> so it was... Yeah, it was... <laughs> Amazing. Now, uh, obviously, uh, you, you've had a lot of trials and tribulations in your life, and that's where most of, if not all, your winnings are going to be going to. Was it something going into the Big Brother house I would have thought that's a, that's a tough thing to, to be taking in with you? Like, I would have thought that's a lot to have to deal with yourself emotionally, let alone have to 
just share it with a, with a bunch of complete strangers with the whole nation watching? Was it a hindrance or something you were hoping would go in and, and help you come to terms with it? I guess the last, say, two years, I've just sort of dealt with life in a, a way that it would help me cope, live every day. And coming into this year, I just said, no, this is my year. I'm going to have a go. And I came into the show without my other half, Meg and Tom. And living three months without your other half, you learn to fill that other half in and have fun and it's not hard with this man here. So. <laughs> oh yeah, tell me about it. Now, yeah. <laughs> and what about you, Muddy? Did you learn anything from being inside the house? Did you not change yet. as a person? Um, I thought it'd take me a while once I got on the outside to learn something. <laughs> um, <laughs> I learned a lot about people, I guess. Um, compatibility with people like Pete. <laughs> but, um, look, I, I met some, some great people on there, as you, as you well know. And, um, oh, yes, we do. <laughs> mm. Yes, we do. I and, love uh, your laugh, by the way. You've got a great laugh. <laughs> At the very least, you have a career in laughing. Oh, if anything okay. else doesn't happen There's for you. There's something to take away from it, then that's great. Um, but a good enough. experience on the whole? Oh, yeah, it was. Um, for me, coming straight from a farm, you know, the old cows, sheep, whatever have you, um, on the head of driving a tractor, to walk onto a TV full time is just, you know, you can't get much more diverse than that, and I loved it. I seriously had the best time of my life in that house, I can honestly say that. Now, uh, what about you, uh, Pete? You obviously uh, had a good time, uh, got very close with Turk Khan. Mm -hmm. uh, when she was evicted, there was a, a lengthy period of time, unlike Marty and Jess, apart. Has it changed your feelings? No, not at all. Turk Khan is a incredible woman and she's got a beautiful smile on the show we were very very close friends and that's we talked last night and that's where we are right now oh, okay well uh also also we're all aware of what marty and jess are going through we don't need to go there we discussed it with jess last week but also mm. marty you have announced that uh drunken state or otherwise you would like to marry jess <laughs> and also pete i'll throw this open to you as well uh we have backstage tonight a priest <laughs> True man of the cloth. We even have a bridesmaid as well, so I'll just leave it open to you guys. I'm down on my knee. Where is she? Come on. <laughs> well, I'll let you go backstage, discuss it with both no. your ladies, and uh, we might find out a little bit later on when we get all the housemates back. But we please, for now, thank Marty and the winner of Big Brother 2002, Peter. Congratulations again, mate. Thank you. See you in a sec. Back later. Get a the rest of the housemates join the couch. The drugs, more from Ridge and Ravina, and what the? They're all out now, but here they are, live on Rove Live. Welcome them one by one, the Big Brother housemates. <laughs> Have we got any time left now? <laughs> now, first I should say hello, Sarah. We haven't actually had you on. Howdy, right? Now, uh, how were you third person out? How does it feel to have come so close? No, it was great. The best achievement of all, um, getting that far to the end. Do you think it had anything to do with snogging Marty at the end that might have been your downfall? <laughs> we all snogged Marty. Uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe too many hickeys. <laughs> do you think, but do you think Marty, like the two of you, when you were, even though it was just mucking around on the floor, do you think maybe that was what the nation kind of went, mm -hmm. Jesus, microphone digs into that, doesn't it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, 
Yeah. 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 Are you avoiding the question? What question was that? I was saying, do you think, uh, look, um, do you think mucking around with Sarah at the end, so close to the finish line, was a wise move? Do you think that was what the nation uh, frowned upon? And, well, and if it did, um, so be it, I guess. Um, yeah, just had fun in there. And um, <laughs> if that's against me, then so be it, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, also say hi to Nicole because we haven't met you. Uh, uh, being one of the intruders, was that a difficult process coming in to what was probably a very clicky group at the time? Uh, yeah, it was, but hey, I love these guys so much, and I did. I know it sounds corny and yeah, 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 but I did. I love these guys, and I had a great time in there, so. And to everybody uh, who was in the house having to uh, nominate intruders to be evicted uh, that first night, how hard was that? Really hard. It was really hard. Um, the thing is, um, Nick, uh, Nicole actually asked us to um, uh, nominate her, and um, it was one of the hardest things because these guys. <laughs> I, 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 find, I find that um, these guys had the hardest job harder than us um, housemates because they didn't know what was happening with them through the whole time and um, they, they didn't know if they were going to get on the show and then suddenly three of them, um, Will, Haley, and um, Nikki didn't get on mm. and um, that one, I could so never have done it, I could never, I could never have been an intruder we and they were fantastic and we got so close to them so quickly. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I was really happy. Yeah. 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 People getting a head start, Shannon, a bit upset? <laughs> No, I was happy with uh, what came into the house, so... And what was that? Is this SMS messaging I heard about last night still going on? Yeah, we're phone texting. They were closer than our SMS last night, right? Is that a fact? A really good, hard SMSing. <laughs> <laughs> so, Brady, is, is there something going on? Because I didn't discuss this when you were on. We are too busy talking about Mirabai, but what happened? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got my phone on me, Back so I've got no idea. Yeah. <laughs> Back to Marty. All right. Yeah. How's that microphone? Now, Tika, what about you? On the night the intruders went in, that was the night you probably hit your lowest. Yeah, I tried to bail, but it didn't work. <laughs> Didn't work. Yeah, I thought I'd just sneak out and no one would notice, but everyone noticed. Did you not expect it to be that tough? Um, it wasn't because it was tough. It was just like I didn't want to stay another day. I just wanted to leave. And I thought I'll go into the diary and request that. And I got denied. <laughs> denied access. Actually, denied exit. <laughs> then was it, was, it your, was it your choice to stay or was it more Big Brother trying to keep you in? Oh, no. He just wanted to make sure that I made the right decision. And I ended up staying another night and decided to stay with the guys. And it was a lot of fun. I and how, how was it for everyone else in the house when Turkan's saying, oh, it's a, it's a bit tough and I don't think I can go on? Were you all feeling it at the same time? Did you sympathise or were you all... It was good for the intruders because it, it brought us down. Because it was, it was full... <laughs> that night was just full on for yeah. us. Everyone's just... Ah, that's like this. And then you got to see the other side. Oh, yeah, we're, we're having an effect on everyone. Well, well, well Kieran, did you think good. it was your fault? Maybe the well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, yeah, yeah. It was no, well, so like, But just think, it's your first night in the house and someone seems to be upset and I'm not sure if you guys hmm. were filled in on the conversations that were going on. No, we on. were It was exactly that. You know, as soon as I walked in, um, I'm sort of, yeah, all excited and to calm us. It might have been your haircut. <laughs> so I thought, yeah. <laughs> so I thought, oh no, what have I done? I've ruined everything. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's frightening. You did. <laughs> <laughs> now, Damon, I'll ask you, uh, being first person out of the house, is it, is, I guess at that point, everyone still hasn't quite gelled as much as they would have uh, when yeah, they're, you know, halfway right. in. Mm. Is it still, do you still feel part of the group? It's interesting because I got at a time where, where it was pretty high. It was like a honeymoon period. And, uh... I got to form good relationships, it was fun. So, out of the house, it's like, well, I could, I could form real relationships again, you know, with, with people I didn't get to form proper in the house. And uh, now that you were out, did you, did you form? <laughs> Enough about me, Rove. What about you? I heard there's a room of Celebrity Big Brother. No chance in hell. Oh, yeah. wow. Enough about me. I want to talk about this. Now, you, you picked uh, Damien over Brody here on the show. Have you, have you caught up? Have you gone out? Have you, have you made good? Um, well, we've hung out a bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, a bit, is that it? It's been really nice getting to know him outside. What have you hung but, out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what about you, Jess? Because when, when you were first in the house, it seemed like maybe you had a thing for Damo. Was there anything oh, going on? I can't on? believe they thought that. Because... Oh, oh, God. God. Footage. And the oh, thing is, Marty and I actually started to develop something early on, but they never showed that. They never had our chats with Damo and I talking about the Marty situation. Mm. It only ever showed me being in the background like the third wheel going, 
Oh no, Jamo's fallen for Mirabai. <laughs> 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 I'm surprised too. When you found out? Well, yeah. no, I just by how it was represented. I mean, Jess and I didn't really have any. There was no. There was nothing like, whatsoever. It was an. Well, well how do you all feel that we were represented? What about you, Alex? When you came out, you were, uh, right up until the point you were evicted, we were probably just seen as oh, the guy's just laying low. And then that last week, you were maybe uh, portrayed as being a conniver and a plotter. It's <laughs> definitely not me, Rove. No, I, 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 <laughs> the mole. <laughs> Out of <laughs> <laughs> Rome, I predicted everyone's eviction except my own. <laughs> 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 I also brought in the house that I'd try to entertain myself and I threw up these theories that I was working for Channel 10 and all this and, yeah. and some people sort of started to believe them. <laughs> right. Um, I actually got something, uh, your what the segment, you missed something. Oh, what was that? Three weeks ago there was this doll that appeared on your show that looked a little like me. What the hell's going on there? I don't know. Well, <laughs> hey, Nathan and I were just chatting, we were, and then and this suddenly this little thing appeared. <laughs> like I mean, a princess. I didn't see it. Just, just suddenly arrived on the desk and started talking. The truth. I know. About downs and stuff. And I, I hadn't met you in real life, and I'm shorter in real life than I appear on television, so I wasn't sure. I couldn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, I have to say, it was, a, it was a way more enjoyable Alex. Yes. <laughs> and surprisingly less wooden. Oh, less wooden. <laughs> A whole lot less wood. Hang on, Nathan, get your hand out of mine. Oh. <laughs> now, okay, speaking, speaking of, uh, I guess, how people were perceived or how you felt you were perceived, what about you, Aaron? Because you're one of the people who in the house were going, oh, with, with my, oh, with my penis shenanigans. Oh, I'm sure to be a favourite. Did you feel, when you came out, did you find that people's perceptions were different to what you thought they would be? Um, no, I was pretty much right. right. I was a raving lunatic for a week. <laughs> and, uh, no, I know Alex loved every minute of it. Absolutely, no. Nah. <laughs> I don't know, like, I think they tend to focus on whatever they feel they need to focus on to create ratings, and, you know, if you do it, you do it, and we did it. We loved it. We didn't do it. I love it. <laughs> no, Some did. Some did. Do you know, so, I'm, I, don't think I've, I don't think it was a bad thing. I think that everybody does whatever, you know, like they argue. People have conflict. That's how you build new relationships and move on. Yeah. It is, and, you know. Now, did anyone actually do it in the house? I did it. Yeah. <laughs> I can say he was very rough. Yeah. <laughs> you would. Well, well, because the rats were involved. <laughs> There's little tape. Okay, well, who was, who was happy with the way they were perceived? Oh, yeah. Or oh, portrayed, portrayed in the house? The second yeah. half. Yeah? yeah. Well, not the first half. didn't care. <laughs> Was anyone unhappy? Well, I haven't seen, I haven't seen the way I've been per perceived. I've watched it because whenever it comes on, like I know that Alex felt the same way. I felt a bit sick in the stomach watching it. Mm, I and like seriously, it comes back. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when it's done, kind of go, oh no. <laughs> Like, but yeah, like um, I haven't seen the way I've been perceived, but I know the way I've been, I've been, um, I've been uh, like uh, loved, accepted received. and loved by uh, received yes, by the uh, by everyone in Australia. Positive I think it's wicked. Once. Yeah, it's fantastic. What about you, Katrina? When you came out, were you, did you think you were poorly portrayed as someone who got very upset very easily? Oh, look, I did get upset quite a bit in the house. I was going through a lot of things. It's hard when you've got so many wonderful personalities and full-on people. It makes you feel about this big sometimes because it's like I can't compete. I can't, you know, be like these people because they're just so fantastic. <laughs> so that that really drained me and um, so that's probably why I felt the way I did in the house and they just showed like the drama of the day what was going on what was affecting the group and that's why it was shown and I have no qualms about that okay well uh, we've still got a bit more to come with the housemates when we return we'll find about uh, the hate about the love yeah. and the general relationships in the house before we go Kieran can you do me a big favor kiss a oh. man oh, no. Now, apart from the fact, since you've been on the show, I've been inundated with mail from ladies saying I need to get in touch with Kieran. But the other thing people around Australia would love to hear is you getting the chance to complete your old McDonald rap that you did.
Nathan's are still with us. Uh, there's a bet on. We're under the impression that Nathan is drunk. We can't. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, not only are we now joined by Gretel Colleen back with us, but also uh, the other intruders we didn't meet 100%, Hayley, Will and Nikki. <laughs> The intruder house any different to the big brother house with what you guys went through Absolutely. it's like a mini big brother it's like half the size man it's, <laughs> it's out in the sticks and um we're chilling like big old pimps so the <laughs> Nicky, did you, did, from what you saw of what happened in the the uh, official house did you, would you say it's it's the same Oh, pretty much, but we, um, yeah, pretty much run them up about getting oh drunk 24 hours a day. I think day. Will's drunk, I think. <laughs> I was in that house, I never remember chilling like a big old pig. No. <laughs> you dreamt of it. Like, it you, don't like remember, you don't remember wearing the big fancy furs and sitting <laughs> waiting for money? What were you thinking? Now, Lily, you didn't enjoy the experience. That's not true, actually. Yes, it is. We saw you yeah, crying that, a lot. Okay, the five minutes that were shown was the entire five weeks that we had. Yep, that little fight was the entire thing that happened. No, I had a great time. I mean, it was difficult. I mean, Nicole and I had our differences, and we're, you know, obviously not the bestest of friends, but... Um, <laughs> Get along in the house. Oh, you don't do that. <laughs> Rogue, who do you think didn't get along in the house? Uh, Shannon and Turka. Yeah, we hate each other's guts. Yeah, yeah. we're, we're, we're dealing with it though. Yeah, we well, actually that's do tournament coming up. up next week, haven't we? Uh, yeah, yeah, we do. Tournament. It's called Kelly Wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> but with the with the uh, larger than life personalities that most of you have, we had a lot of extroverts in the house. But did anyone? I would have thought they'd be clashing. Well, I was a quiet person. Yeah. <laughs> And I felt, I felt really overwhelmed by everybody else. <laughs> you know, people like Katrina, I can never get away. <laughs> now, what about the, the friendships that formed? Uh, Nathan, Alex, and Sarah, you had a, a very close knit group there. How, how the tight was it? of evil. <laughs> yeah. There was nothing good about it, though. It terrible trio. How was it when, when it got split up? I know, Sarah, you took it pretty bad. Yeah, I felt like um, my boys were gone and I had to kind of restart again and find, you know. Shallow ground again. I was so but I got along that with I came up with Alex. Well, Nathan, oh, that Nathan was a bit I was so happy, but then when I found out I was going to go out there with him. <laughs> <laughs> But I like the fact that I'd come out and I knew that I'd, I'd shine over Alex. <laughs> it worked well for me. Nathan, Nathan is actually more hated than me, which is also a good thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what about everyone else in the house? The, uh, the uh, relationships, whether they just be the axis of evil or any couples that were formed, did the rest of you feel somewhat on the outer because of that? I think that was for me, I did. Mm. I was in there for, what, eight days, but I really, um, I mean, I love all of them, and I didn't hate any of them, didn't, did, I got along with everybody, but it just got to the point where, you know, I, I have a really extroverted personality, and all my friends would say, my God, shut up, Nicole, all the time. But with these guys, I was like this quiet little mouse, and I had my moments where I was loud, but all of them were just, Wah! especially this one. Wah! Oh, my God. God. <laughs> I and the good thing is that, well, for me, I, it was good that Nathan could actually take over, so it was times where I had to go and recharge my batteries. <laughs> Nathan just ran hell for leather, so I was happy with that. Well, speaking of batteries, rubbish. I mean, Jess, what, what happened to you? At some point in the series, you just, you break a circuit or something. And just, <laughs> I don't know what happened. The outfit no, no, no. Something in the air. This character Something in the water, water perhaps. Water. Yeah, I don't know. Are you know screws in the air? Screw loose. Totally screw loose. How has life been for everyone uh, outside in the house? I guess, Pete, you've probably had the least amount of experience outside, but even just in the 24 hours, how's it uh, been for you? Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Um, just... Go, 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 so... Drunk, 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 drunk. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. It's uh, been a buzz. Anyone else? I guess, Damien, you've been out the house the longest. How was, um, how was it for you? Oh, heckling's great. I get it a bit. <laughs> Not an easy target, but... Now, no, we're talking good. about uh, everyone's, you know, the, the, how close everyone has got. Did you have a particular favourite from the house that you... Someone you... Oh, no, no, okay, no, no, no. <laughs> who, who did you bond with the most? Gretzky? I love them all as my children. Oh. <laughs> and how did this lot you. compare to last year's mob? Well, I love them as my children. You've <laughs> <laughs> got a lot of children. I have. I have. I have. <laughs> do, you get, do you get to keep in touch with, uh, with last year's? Oh, because I don't get to keep them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I shall you be wish. selecting a few to come and live in my home. Um, I don't know. I, I think... <laughs> 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 Nathan. <laughs> 
I, I really think, I'll leave this up to you guys to decide, but the bond that you share from such an intense experience as this just lasts forever. Yeah. You don't have to live in each other's pockets forever, but there will always be a connection because it, I just can't imagine anything as intense, particularly at this point in your lives. I don't know if you've ever experienced anything no. like this, but, no. you know, it's full of fear, excitement, hope, <laughs> uh, disappointment, you know, the, like the whole gamut of emotions. And when you share that with people, I, I just yeah. think you're joined really forever. And what about we for the housemates? Really. The only connection you have with the outside world is, is Gretel uh, exactly. on eviction night Gretel. and, and oh, nomination we, night. Like how how close think. do you guys become to her from the inside? Oh, very. Oh, extremely. Yeah. 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 She's the one person that we see outside of the house. And um, like, as soon as we get out, like, you actually know that Gretel cares about you yeah. in the house. Yeah. And the thing yeah. is, we, we actually saw her um, face when um, anyone would go and she'd be all, it's time to go. And then it'd be like, Nathan. Then you actually see her reaction. She's actually Actually taking back. Yeah. Yeah. I was acting. Was there any emotion for you to read out the names? Was there was there any emotion in, in not wanting certain people to well, leave? Well, it was easier than last year because, as you remember, twice with the envelopes there it was no name was written no name. there. <laughs> uh, and one time I had to guess, but luckily it was the right one. Uh. Um, <laughs> but not this series. The, it, it's hard, but then I know it's not the end of a journey just because you're coming out of the house. You know, it's the beginning of an entirely different journey. So exactly. it's not the end of anything, it's, it's just a shift. And they've got to come the 100 metres or however far it is. And I do know, wow, this, this is a new world, this is a new life. I, I mean, I guess it, that's what it feels like. You, yeah. you, you yeah. shed your, your yeah. former self. And then there's a new person yeah, emerging. Right. Yourself that this was about change, and we have all changed from yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Katrina, being one of the first people to come out of the house, did you did you expect to get the ovation? You'd seen last year's uh, Big Brother. Was it seeing the thousands of people? Was it all expected? Was there less of a surprise? I well, no, yeah, no, it wasn't a surprise, but. I don't know, I, all I cared about was getting in that house and that's all I focused on. So to actually leave, I just knew that when Damo left he would have had a really good time and there was a big down in the house after he left. <coughs> and to know that I wouldn't have that down and it would be the start of a new journey, that was exciting. And I loved that. Now Aaron, you were one of the, the, the guys who said uh, that uh, there's a, a good chance that everyone's going to become famous <coughs> as they left the house. Did it, oh. a, a, did it happen for you? Oh, oh come on. How much, how much was that taken out of context? Did you get well, famous? I know, I know what, you know what TV's about. It's, it, was, it was mainly because Marty doesn't, he, he still thinks he's going home to his farm. He told me this stuff. <laughs> no, wait, Is that no. the plan, Marty? Yeah, well, I was thinking to walk straight out of the house and go straight back to the farm, but I'm here now, so I'm um, forced to be here. <laughs> No, it's great to be here, right? Really is. So. Can we arrive on a flight to TJ this afternoon? Oh, that'd be interesting. Yeah. Hijacking a plane in the current climate. Very clever. Uh, so, okay, who, who has got any kind of uh, approaches from TV? Pete Air Brody's nodding. Uh, from, no, from, you know, uh, sponsorship from companies or endorsement deals or TV for anyone? Anyone had any knocks on the door? Yeah, sort of. See the clothes we're wearing? Yeah. Is it all the clothes at the moment? Yeah. yeah. But isn't the question, isn't it really, is that why you went into the house? Yeah. Well, that's my think, question. Yeah, I think sometimes people assume that you'd go into Big Brother because you want to be famous, but it, I don't know if that's everybody's motivation. Yeah. Well, how many people did go in with the intention of using it as a stepping stone? I mean, last year there was probably less uh, expectation that anything would become of it. I think most of them were probably in the house going, you know, we, they would have no idea that it was the number one rating show. They would have no idea how many millions of people were watching or what to expect when they came out. You guys did. Was there anything just in the back of your minds that maybe that was part of the reason for going in? Yeah, I was really hoping it would accelerate that process. I'd already um, begun the process just GMA, previously. GMA, thank yeah. you but very much. But really, definitely going to accelerate it. Um, but you, can't, you can only hope, you can't expect. And everyone's on a high at the moment too. Yeah. And yeah, it's so much true. fun being part of the whole entertainment thing. So we're all on a buzz. Yeah, we want more of it and we want to keep on going with it. So. Interesting. I think... <laughs> I don't think that everybody had that idea when they went in. I think that yeah. since they've come out, yeah. some people like like got a, got a taste for it yeah. and like yeah. it a bit, yeah. and they want a bit more. <laughs> I think that's more of the case. I don't think I think everyone went into the house to enjoy the experience for what it was, yeah. and then whatever comes afterwards, well, it's a bonus. So it's just Tex Perkins screaming backstage. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Don't worry about that. You'll be out later. Yeah. <laughs> just warming up. Now, Turkan, when you were on the show, you said that there was something you had to do, and it was going to be done on the final. You didn't eviction see it. show. Did. What, 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 was, what was it? A was wink that? or something? Tell us what it was. It happened. Well, you didn't happened. watch. Come on, Jack. What was it? Come on, Jack. Do you know what it was? Do it. Do it.
should also remind you, we do have a priest. <laughs> Father Steve and our bridesmaid Annie is a legitimate... <laughs> they are technically out the back. <laughs> Marty, Jess, have we, have we discussed? This is fantastic. This is television at its best. Oh. Can we? Is there any chance right now of getting a wedding? Do it. Any chance at all? Oh, no. Do it. Josh, 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 you had it all planned out in um, an open back paddock of mine on the farm. So. We have, we have a camera out there, mate. We have a Road huge paddock out the back here. It used to be a helicopter paddock. I'll tell you what, we could get you married on the neighbour's set out the back. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. John and Charlene revisited. There you go. We'll get angry Anderson to sing Suddenly It'll Be Beautiful. What are the chances? Any chance of it happening? It'll be so much cheaper. It'll be for it. You know how I love cheap and nasty. Yeah. It's not real, You, you would pay for it. Yeah. It's, it's, not, it's not real. <laughs> I'll send you on a honeymoon. I'll do whatever you want. No, no, no. I'll oh, marry oh. Gretel. Yes, <laughs> Hey, why not? Uh, well, thank you all very much. Uh, congratulations uh, for seeing it through to the end, and congratulations to Pete as well. Ladies and gentlemen, your big brother housemates.